Hello, beloved. Welcome to your reading. Let's dive deep into this reading to see what you need to know at this present moment in time. As usual, it is always important to remember that these readings are general and to take what is resonating with you, leaving behind anything that is not for you. So let's jump into this reading and see the messages that are coming up for you. So the divine is bringing an element of wanting to remind you that you are lucky. The more lucky you feel, the more you're going to be seeing that you start noticing lucky moments happening to you. So the divine is saying, embrace this energy of being lucky. Embrace this energy of you understanding how energy and vibration works. When you're feeling lucky, you start manifesting and you start creating lucky moments and lucky breaks for you. And what happens? You start seeing more lucky moments. You start seeing more magical moments happening for you. So the divine is saying that for some of you, as you are feeling lucky, it is important to utilize that energy and to start taking action. But the action that you need to take needs to be inspired. So tap into your subconscious mind, tap into your intuition and listen. And when you know that there is an inner voice that is communicating with you, you are going to know when it is the right time for you to take that action. So the divine is saying, don't take any type of action. Don't waste your energy, but listen to that intuitive voice. And then when you know and understand that it is an inspired word, it is an inspired calling for action, you go and do whatever it is that you feel is the right thing to do. As you're going on this journey, the divine wants you to also understand that there is this feeling where some of you, you just could be worried that maybe you have bad luck, maybe you've got blockages, maybe you've got things that are standing in the way. The divine is saying to you, have no fear because your guardian angels are walking with you. Remember, we're speaking about listening to the intuitive hints. Well, for some of you, the intuitive hints that are going to be coming in are going to be telling you when it is that you need to duck, when it is that you need to wait before taking that action so your guides are looking out for you your guides will be sending you guidance to say to you when it is the right time to move forward and when it is the right time to wait it out but the divine is saying that when it's all said and done it is important for you to understand that no evil has power over you because your guides are watching over you okay so it is important to understand that you really need to listen to your guides. You really need to listen to your intuition because for some of you, you are landing in hot waters. For some of you, you are finding yourself in trouble because you're not listening. So the divine is saying that attention, your guides are trying to give you important messages. Attention, listen to these important messages because you could be finding yourself missing a lot of troublesome situations as you're listening to your guides, as you're listening to those intuitive hints, you'll be taking the right action and you'll be falling in the energy of divine protection. I've just dropped a card on the table, on the floor, so I'm just going to pick that up for a moment. So, let's have a look to see what our tarot cards have to say. And as I'm getting you our tarot cards, I always take this opportunity to tell you of the services that I'm currently offering at the moment. So we have our candle magic ceremonies that are happening connected to removing blockages, connected to removing obstacles. We have our candle magic ceremonies that are happening connected to the energies of the full moon, of the new moons, and all of those type of energies. And also, I do spiritual cleansing. So for some of you who feel that you just need a spiritual cleanse, everything that you need to know connected to my services is linked in the description box below. Go in the description box below, go to my uh, website and have a look around and see what is calling out to you. So let's turn this card around and let's see what is at the bottom of the deck, what you're currently not seeing at the moment. You are receiving the energies of the Page of Cups. So the divine is saying that it is important for you to start daydreaming about what it is that you want to bring forward. It is important for you to start tuning in and to listen because the divine is saying that again, your guides, your spirit animals, your guardian angels are going to be walking with you. They are going to be around you as you're going on a journey, as you're going on a new path. So it is important for you, especially if you are venturing towards something that is new, that you really fine tune your intuition. You really start to listen to your guides and your ancestors because they are going to be looking and surveying a situation, a place, 
and then bringing the messages to you that you need to avoid this person, you need to avoid this situation. So they are bringing protection around you. It is important for you to tune in. It is important for you to listen. The pages can be a bit naive. So for some of you, the divine is saying that it is important to understand where you don't have the clarification, where you don't have all the information. And when you don't have all the information, it is important for you to ask your guides. It is important for you to seek clarity because again, by doing so, you are going to be avoiding a lot of situations that could be unfolding in a, in a complicated way. The message around your guides being here is again being highlighted because you are receiving the energies of the high priestess. I already told you that there's an energy that is here where your guides are saying to you that they are going to be communicating with you. They are going to be watching over you. They are going to be looking after you. So having the energies of the high priestess is important for you to understand that divine knowledge, divine wisdom is going to be coming in. So it is important for you to understand that your dreams could be revealing important information. It is important for you to understand that secrets could be getting exposed especially if there are people who are working against you, plotting against you. Your guides are going to be having none of that. They are going to be ringing the bell. They are going to be telling you. And it is important for you to understand the messages that are coming in so that you take the action that you need to take. So having the energies of the high priestess is really, really important because the energies of the high priestess is connected to the other side. So a veil has been lifted and you are going to be shown many things. Some of these things are going to be uh, revealed to you in the dreamscape. Some of these things are just going to be coming in a way of you having that inner knowing. You just don't know how you know something, but the divine is saying that your psychic skills, okay, your intuition is going to be laser sharp. So please, whatever you're doing, do not ignore anything that is coming up. Do not ignore the, the red flags. Do not ignore the alarms that could be going off. Because the divine is saying that for some of you, there just could be something that is unfolding in the background, that is unfolding behind the scenes in the darkness. And your guides are seeing what is happening and they're trying to get your attention to say to you that don't go that way because there are enemies that are there. Take a different route. And for some of you be like, no, if I go in the other direction, it is going to take too long. It is going to, you know, cost me more money because I have to pay the toll gates. I have to do this and that. And you ignore the message that is here. This is when you could be finding yourself in hot waters. There's a really like a powerful message around protecting you. Your guides are really saying to emphasize this. So this week, be really, really tuned to the messages that are coming in. Be really, really tuned to your intuition. Because like I said, your intuition is going to be ringing those alarms, especially if there is like anything dodgy that is going on in the background. Okay. Because the divine is saying that again, no evil has power over you. But understand that this is the prophecy that is here. Evil, bad things will only happen when you actively choose to ignore the messages that are coming in, when you're actively being disobedient and not listening to your guides, this is when things start taking the wrong turn. So the divine is really emphasizing that this week, truly listen to anything intuitive that is coming up. If you're walking alone at night, don't wear your music, okay? Just have your senses around you. Just be really like, almost like hyper aware of the people who are around you. And you could be avoiding some situations that are wanting to develop. So the divine is wanting you to understand that the energies of the Hierophant is like you listening to this reading. Because the Hierophant is able to give you important messages. The Hierophant, again, is connected to the divine energies. So as you're listening to this reading, this is the divine message that the divine wanted to give you. This is the divine message that is telling you that you are currently not seeing that there could just be some people who are plotting against you. There could be someone who is maybe watching your routine. They are studying you so that, that maybe they can break into your home. So that maybe they can steal something from you. So make sure that at night you are double checking that your windows are closed. You're making sure that your doors are locked. And the divine is saying that it doesn't matter if it's hot outside at this present moment in time. Just make sure that security is at the forefront, not comfort. Because when you're putting comfort ahead 
of making sure that you're safe. This is when someone is able to break into your home because you fall asleep and the windows are wide open and someone could be coming in. So there is just that message that the divine is wanting to give to you through the energies of the Hierophant because there is like that protective energy that is here where your guides are wanting to keep you safe, where your guides are wanting to keep your possession safe, where your guides are wanting to keep you healthy because they don't want anything to be touching you. So whatever is happening, your guides are truly saying that we have your back, okay? Pay attention to what is going on around you. Do not ignore any red flags, but at the same time, do not be fearful because your guides are already perceiving all the danger. They're already perceiving anything that can go wrong. And then they are communicating this to you. Then it is over to you to listen. It is over to you to take the action that you need to take. So I really like that I am seeing that there's like a similar type of energy that is here. We have our, I think this is meant to be a hummingbird that is there. And it's in a similar position to our angel that is here and i told you your guides are wanting to bring an energy of protection around you so your guides are literally walking you home your guides are literally looking after you and then they're making sure that you are safe they're making sure that you get home safely before they go and look after other people before they go and presume other duties so again listen and be very attentive to anything that is coming up because these two energies here are wanting to communicate a similar type of energy to say to you that hey listen to any information that is coming in connected to your security connected to your safety we are going to be watching over you we're going to be making sure that you get home safe but at the end of the day once you get home safe Make sure that you're locking your doors. Make sure that your windows are closed and make sure that you are taking this message very, very seriously because the divine is saying that, remember, we opened up this reading with the reminder that you are lucky and the divine is saying that you are lucky that you are here listening to this reading. You are lucky hearing this reading up to this point because you're now knowing what it is that you need to do. You now know what it is that you need to be aware of. So I want you to comment in the comment section that I am lucky showing your guides gratitude for watching over you to making sure that you are safe. And then again, listen, take inspired action. If you feel you need to go in a different direction, if you feel that today I need to just not go to work, Okay, because I just feel that something is going to take place. Listen, because you are going to be the high priestess. You are going to be very, very intuitive. So tune in to your intuition and listen and then take inspired action when it is the right time for you to take inspired action. So again, beloved, this is the message that is here for you. If you found value in this reading, please do give this video a big thumbs up. And remember of all the services that I offer, which are linked in the description box below, go to my website, have a look around, and I'm sure you find something there that is intriguing. I'm looking forward to working with you and it is a goodbye from me.